Hello, and welcome to Gardens or Gun Towers. This is my inaugural uh, debut as uh, your host, and I wanted to tell you a little bit of how we're going to do business here at the show. So first off, we're going to keep it, well, pretty much family friendly. Uh, maybe some of the little chitlins might have some problems with some of the things we talk about, but otherwise, we're not going to swear. Uh, we're not going to have any dirty pictures as much as Eugene might want them. Uh, but anyways, the fact of the matter is, we're going to keep it pretty clean, talk about gardens, talk about DIY things. We're going to talk about our favorite stuff and anything that entertains us. And I don't know, what are you doing? It's a gall darn donut. That's not a donut. That's a donut. Mm -mm. It's called the squealer. It's got bacon on it. Yeah, it's the best kind. See, look, it's beautiful. Look at that in 4K. It's mm. huge. It's huge. It is. You can build a wall out of it. Who makes these? Uh, Cops and Donuts. Did they pay us to say that? No, I, they, they, they are a charitable organization. And it's a good cause. And I know you like donuts. Is and it you charitable? Like bacon. It is. I didn't know that. 100% of their profits go to charity. At least they say they do. Oh, I feel better about... They're doing, cops. They can't be lying. I, I feel better about doing a shameless plug. But oh, I'm still okay. not going to eat it. Why not? It's... You're it's, not... It's delicious. You're not going to win this bet like that. I can't eat it. I'm a vegetarian. You should eat it. I can't eat it because it makes me swell up to the size that I am. Oh, you, you look wonderful. Okay, anyways, I'm going to keep going. Anyways, so uh, as I was saying, pretty much family friendly. Most of our content going to be great. I'm going to talk about for my first episode uh, what I think the ideal zombie apocalypse weapon is. I know there's lots and lots of weapons out there, but I think this one is a cut above the rest. <clears throat> the bolt cutter. $25, I think at Walmart, $25 at... Uh, Home Depot, places like that. This is my reason for loving this thing. So it's heavy. It's got some heft to it. And for heaven's sakes, Eugene, did you did you just buy these to screw with me? No, I, I, I saw them. They were half off because Easter's over. And they've got vegetables in them. What vegetable is in a Cadbury cream egg? Chocolate's made from a bean. You sure it's not a fruit? You know, tomato's a fruit. Yeah, but... It's delicious, and you'll like it. Tomatoes are delicious. You should eat the Cadbury cream egg on top of the squealer donut. You're going to eat everything a la mode, so don't mess with me. Fine. If, you, Fine. if you're just uh, tuning in for the first time, we're having a little bet. In the next uh, three months, basically, we're both losing weight. We're doing a low-carb diet, because that's what we choose to do. And uh, he's, he's a jerk. Anyways, <clears throat> the bolt cutters. So as I was saying, they have a good heft, I don't know, they're about five pounds total. So like a baseball bat, you can use this bad little boy to bash in zombies' heads, but unlike a baseball bat, if you need bolt cutters, there is nothing in this world that works as well as bolt cutters. Getting through chain link fence, getting through uh, chains themselves, getting into, for heaven's sakes, Eugene, come on, man. I'm never going to get this done. It's chicken. It's not. It's chicken? It says marshmallow chicks. Where do you think the big marshmallows come from? From the chick marshmallows. It, well, it says it's gluten-free. Well, you won't be allergic to it. It's great. I, where? I don't even know where they make these things. Uh, probably Mexico or China. Probably China. Oh my goodness, there's a date on it. I... I thought for sure that these were going to last forever. They probably will. They survive. <laughs> it's survival Yeah, food. just because they survive doesn't make them survival it's survival food. food. They think yeah. it's better when they get old. Yeah, I didn't like peeps before I was on this diet, so this isn't going to work. You should put the peeps between the cream egg and the donut. That could be a video you can make. Okay. Let me finish up this segment, otherwise we'll never get done. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you need a bolt cutter, you need a bolt cutter, and nothing else will do. I've never seen it in a zombie movie. I'd love to see it in a zombie movie. And if you know anyone, I don't know, uh, the internet's huge, right? So maybe you know someone who's making a zombie movie. Get the bolt cutters into a movie. Talk to the Walking Dead people. I don't know. But it's highly undervalued as a zombie apocalypse weapon. Definitely firearms are nothing like this because they run out of ammo. They're loud. And then... Baseball bats? Baseball bats? That's fine. They're, they're great, but not the utility of a uh, zombie apocalypse machine like the bolt cutters. So, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit more like this in the future. Have a good one.